Here is a recent acquisition that I just could not pass up. I was over at Mitchell Supply hanging out and came across this nice little Ruger P89. Uh, the P89s aren't really that common anymore. You don't see them that much on the shelves. Uh, what you do see a lot of is the P95s. P89s, they're the older model. They've got the alloy frame, uh, longer barrel and slide. Instead of a 3.9 inch like the P95s, this is a 4.5 inch. This is a full size Ruger. This particular one only came with a 10 rounder, but uh, I'll change that. I'll order some high capacity magazines, get them in, uh, some 15 rounders and whatnot. This one is in really good condition. Uh, sometimes you see these P89s out there and they've just been torn up in horrible condition. Uh, just been used and abused, but this one is still in awesome condition. Extremely smooth. Um, there was a little bit of gunk in it, but I went ahead and cleaned it all up. And this thing is just excellent, excellent, excellent condition throughout. Uh, the bore is pretty much brand new. Um, the sights, standard sights, nothing crazy about the sights. One thing I like about this model of handgun is it's still pretty inexpensive, but it is ambidextrous. It has the ambidextrous magazine release and the decocker safety, as you can see. It comes standard on these uh, handguns. So the price isn't much. You expect right around $300 or so for these types of handguns, but the quality is there. The quality is there. This is not a small 9mm as you can see. This thing is even a little bit bulkier than my Glock 22 that I carry daily. Um, so it's definitely not a small gun. It's back in the era when they were making handguns a lot bulkier and they were making them the last. This design is about a mid to late 80's design right here. And I tell you what, it works. Due to the heftiness and bulk of this handgun, recoil is very negligible and it's very accurate. Um, you guys following my channel for a while probably remember the 100 yard rapid fire shoots I was doing with the Ruger P95 which is a little bit smaller and lighter weight than this. Um, I was shooting very accurately with that and I look forward to doing the same with this. This thing's heavier, has a little bit longer barrel so I expect it to do even better. So just wanted to take some time out to kind of show you an oldie but goodie. In the world of the fancy handguns, a lot of people overlook handguns like these. And I tell you what, these are really high quality. These, the Ruger P95s, the Smith & Wessons out there, the older alloy frames. Uh, you can even find some good used Beretta 90, Model 92s on the market. And they're there, you just have to look for them. And sometimes you just have to jump when the opportunity presents itself. That's what I did today. I uh, just happened to stumble onto this, so I jumped on it. So, uh, thanks for watching, and for any of you guys that got the P89, feel free to post up your videos on it or whatnot. Again, it's a really good handgun. It's stout, and it's one of those handguns that even though it's a budget handgun, it's something that's built to last. So, with that said, uh, again, thanks for watching, and stay safe.